as the Philippine Air Force pushed to improve its overall airlift and transport capabilities with the limited funds allocated to them, the service has included the acquisition of Surplus. but refurbished Lockheed C-130 Hercules heavy tactical transport aircraft from the U.S. government as part of its shopping list under the Horizon 2 phase priority projects of the revised AFP modernization program covering fiscal years 2018 to 2022. Being an existing and long-time user of the C-130 Hercules, the PATH found it logical and practical to purchase surplus C-130 aircraft with its meager budget, rather than push for brand new, similar-sized aircraft. The aircraft, with serial number 87-284, was formerly a U.S. Air Force C-130H Hercules transport aircraft built in 1987 and delivered in 1988. It was converted to a MC-130W Combat Spear Special Operations aircraft used for infiltrating, exfiltrating and resupplying U.S. Special Operations Forces. It also has capability to act as an aerial refueling tanker for special operations helicopters and an aircraft. While the aircraft was retired in 2016 and its special operations equipment removed, it is possible that the internal plumbing for the aerial refueling system could be intact, which will allow for easier conversion to a tanker aircraft in the future. Being Spec Ops aircraft, it is also expected that the airframe did not suffer too much stress on carrying heavy cargo, although other factors need to be considered. The Philippine Air Force's technical team probably know more about the reason why they selected this specific airframe, so we'll just have to trust their expertise on the matter. The acquisition of refurbished and upgraded Lockheed C-130 Hercules aircraft, together with integrated logistics support ILS, package, is among those included in the Horizon 2 phase priority projects. That was given in principle approval by press. Rodrigo Dutert in June 2018. Originally, the plan calls for the acquisition of a single C-130HT Hercules heavy tactical transport aircraft from U.S. Excess Defense Articles, EDA, at an overall cost of PHP 2 billion 80 million point The huge budget is due mostly to the upgraded avionics, the spares and logistics support, and other ancillary costs, rather than the airframe itself. Air transport has long been a problem of the path, and the Joint U.S. Military Assistance Group, JUSMAC, Philippines has recommended to the U.S. Department of Defense to assist the PATH in building this capability. For this project, the U.S. stepped in to assist by providing assistance through U.S. Foreign Military Financing FMF program, which now allowed the PATH to acquire two, two refurbished and upgrade C-130 Hercules aircraft instead of just one. The overall cost of the project went up to PHP 2.5 billion but the PATH is now just shouldering less than PHP 1.6 billion plus other expenses worth more than PHP 170 million, while the U.S. Department of Defense paid for PHP 900 million worth of the project.
This allowed the path a savings of around PHP 400 million which is, was able to use in other modernization projects that encountered shortfall in funding. The original delivery date for the C-130s was supposed to have happened earlier, with the first aircraft expected in early 2019 and the second aircraft before the end of 2019. This was confirmed in a speech made by former Commanding General Philippine Air Force, CGPAF, Lt. Gen. Galileo Container, RET, in September 2018, and again reiterated in another speech during the service's Christmas party in December 2018. Max Defense Philippines reported that the reason for delays was due to the delayed release of funding from the Philippine government, which has always been a problem in most modernization projects. The Department of National Defense DND, confirmed in a press release last week that based on their status reports, the first C-130 Hercules will 